welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Romano. Today's topic will be about why I do not trade cryptocurrency. Before we begin, I need you to subscribe, like, that's thumbs up, as well as share my video with at least five people. And please remember to send me comments to the live chat. So I wanna thank you very much for watching. So to begin, uh, basically cryptocurrency is definitely a new uh, a cryptocurrency. It's, it's not really an investment like a typical asset class, uh, like the equities uh, on, on the stock market. There's reasons why those, those stocks go up and down and there's reasons behind that. There's also um, other types of uh, investments, but we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and the equities. Now, the equities, I'm able to predict those um, reasons why they go up and down. As a doctor of finance and I do trade options, uh, there is, you know, it's, it's a type of asset that makes sense as to why it goes up and down, as well as there's big investors that will hold the investment for quite some time. It could be five, six, seven years, 10 years. Example, one of the wealthiest people in America, I can't tell you his name. They are a type of business where they do traditional trading and that's buying a huge chunk of investment in a particular company and they hold it and of course, you know, it's always in the media when they're entering or exiting a company, but there's a reason for that. And that person and that type of investment strategy, they see value in that asset class, that particular investment stock, what do you want to call it? But cryptocurrency, when I look at the charts, I have no reason why it's going up and down. Now, there are two major spikes in the Bitcoin, particularly. Uh, Bitcoin, I, I know the history on it, it started in 2009, I believe, and then I believe in, in 2010, it had the first trade. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's a great idea, I love it. But to trade it, like a day trader trades stocks, there's nothing there that tells me it's going to go up or down. Now, those of you who are day traders and you're trading it, uh, I, those two spikes that have happened in the past, uh, I believe it was, it started in 2020 and the other one was, I think, uh, 2017. That Because it went up so much, it clearly is an indication of kind of like w once you you hear about it everyone starts investing and it pushes it skyrocket but then it comes flying down and that's what what you see and that's the type of uh reasoning for it to go up and down uh, somehow i believe someone bought a lot of big coins um, or someone uh, put a lot of investment into that stock uh, that uh, cryptocurrency and because of that, it started to go up because everyone else followed in on it. Uh, like a train goes, you know, up the mountain and then, you know, it goes down the other way. As well as, you know, people say you can make millions and, and yes, you could have. Uh, if you had bought it in 2013, 2013, you could have probably paid, I, I don't know the exact price, you know, it was a couple hundred basically. And if you would have held on to it, and now just from what I'm saying and what I told you about before, that would be a traditional investment approach to hold on to it for a number of years. And once it does go down, that's what I suggest you do is hold on to it. Um, I mean, I can't give you any advice, but this is what I would do if I was trading it, which I'm not. Uh, I would hold on to it and not sell it. Keep it as well as it's not, it, there's no real indication of value except people like it. Uh, as well as those multi-billionaires that are possibly placing trades. Um, that is another reason why it goes up so much. Um, and that's why it goes up, up even more because then you have 
people, other traders or other, uh, whatever you want to call them, cryptocurrency traders, uh, following in on it. They see that it's going up, then they, they, they rush in. But there's going to be the opposite that happens, and a lot of people could lose out on that. That's why I refuse to trade it. Now, what I would do is wait until it goes down more and then buy some. Um, but it's it's more of like gambling to me. That's what it feels like. Trading options on the equities market is a total different type of trading. You know, trading the equities, there's reasons behind the fact that the uh, asset is going up or down. Or, you know, there there's reasons what, because of the government. Uh, uh, they're going to raise taxes, lower it, or the jobs report and um, every time there's a feds meeting you know it affects the equities market affect it well it should affect all markets but another reason why cryptocurrency is interesting um, I don't put it down it's not that I don't like it I just can't trade it and that's not an uh, investment that you trade it's an investment that you buy it and hold on to it for a very long time and um, not day trading or, you know, the, what we know trading today is, you know, you buy for a couple seconds and hold on to it. No, that, that's, that's really bad if, you, if that's what you're doing. Um, I'm sure there are some people that are very lucky and they are, you know, withstanding it going negative for a while and then it goes up and they do make a profit. But that's really scary that's not uh, your risk management approach and I'm, I'm also i have an mba in risk management as well as i have an mba in uh, financial management and of course i have a phd in financial management and i have a dissertation about how to select a hedge fund and how to manage that risk of those assets so i'm an expert on hedge funds and the equity markets um other markets as well but that's the best market equity, uh, a long or short strategy, particularly because they do those types of funds do really well. It's a very simple um, investment approach, and typically the simplest ones are the best ones. We do have cryptocurrency, so I'm sure in the future there'll be a certain trading style that will come up because of it. But as of now, I, I don't know of any yet. It's not going to replace currency. That's not true. Uh, we are very happy today with our dollar. And there's a reason for that. Uh, our, our, our entire infrastructure is based on that. And so is it globally. Other countries believe that our government is very stable. And um, it is. And so that's why they, they love the dollar. But for quick payments, buying it and holding on to it, uh, it, it will do very well over time. Bitcoin is past the moment that you need to trust it. We already trust it. Uh, clearly, it's in the programming and the language of that uh, program that the guy, we really don't know who actually invented Bitcoin. There's a, there's a number of people that would have invented it, not one person. And I know the history of it, that it started in the 80s. But, well, no, I'm sorry, that Bitcoin didn't start in the 80s, but the concept started in the 80s. And from there, it was improved. And over, what was it, 20, 30 years, actually, 30 years it took to improve the, um, the actual programming of it. And I also believe that there will be other systems attached to Bitcoin. Um, now we, we see Apple is, is starting to allow Bitcoin on their platforms, which that's a major indication where Bitcoin is going to go in the future. <laughs> that's why I say uh, hold on to it, don't trade it, invest in it. And um, I personally see in the future of Bitcoin. Um, I don't work for Bitcoin. I don't, I don't work for no brokerage house. So I'm not trying to um, persuade you to invest in it. I'm just telling you what my personal opinion is. I'm not giving you advice. Uh, you know, don't take my advice. Simply listen to what I say and um, 
I'm a logical person, and so that's what Bitcoin is about. So to continue about Bitcoin, a uh, number of reasons why it went up and it spiked in 2020 and also 2017 is because remember in 2017, we had the investment banks deciding that they wanted to become part of cryptocurrency. So they either invested directly through their trading desks or they invested in hedge funds that focused on cryptocurrency. That is one of the reasons why there was such a big spike in the markets, as well as other companies, uh, I can't say their names, but there's one particular company that it's all over the media that they're also holding Bitcoins as an investment and they're just you know keeping their money stationed in bitcoin that's very interesting and that's the first time that we uh sort of seen that in the charts at bitcoin and you have to remember once those gigantic trades are placed everyone follows in everyone that doesn't know anything about the reason why it's going up um, it doesn't matter if you're the trader or you're just a speculator or you're, you'd like to want to get into it. And then you hear in the media that Bitcoin is going through the roof and then you get in. And that's another reason why it went up so uh, fast and so much. In 2020, you have to remember that also could have been an indication that you know a lot of people were home because of the uh you know the lockdown um and because of that that is also a another reason why the the stock you know the the price went up so much and when america does something the, the world follows around uh, you know follows after and that's one of the reasons why bitcoin also went up in 2017 and also 2020 is because the rest of the world realized what America was doing. And you also have governments that around the world that also invest in Bitcoin. I mean, that, that makes a perfect sense. Why wouldn't, you know, why wouldn't a government, I don't know what government, but let's just say, you know, of course they're gonna do it. If investment banks are doing it, if the people are doing it, um, if the hedge funds are doing it, then that should tell you that Bitcoin is going to go a long ways into our future. And it's, you know, no one's going to predict if it goes up or down, but you could look at the charts and, and say to yourself, that's why it went up because there was a lot of money poured into it, not just the public. I'm talking about trillions, billions, um, maybe not trillions at first, but billions definitely. And so that's why it did spike so high. As per the future, I, it's, as I mentioned prior, it's so hard to predict. It's, I love the idea. I love the fact that everyone is getting into trading Bitcoin. And just keep in mind that it does go up and down so much. Yeah, it's been out for over 10 years since 2008, I believe, 2008 and 2009, and then 10 and 11. Those were really big years for Bitcoin. And then finally, the public started to uh, participate in it. But literally the day of the market that was collapsing, there was an email sent out to another person and uh, kind of was the indication that something was started and if you guys know the actual trade date, um, I just want the, the actual day of the month. If you know that, uh, please submit it to the live chat. It would be nice to talk about when it actually started, as well as um, the history about it. I know the history about what I read, um, and a lot of, I personally believe that there was a group of people that invented Bitcoin. Uh, that type of language, that person had to be like 10 geniuses in one. And it's possible that that person was working in a group that was doing something similar to Bitcoin um, and then simply improved it and wrote the program. Uh, I, I like the idea of, of blocks. That is an amazing program and an amazing organization of it that there's a record of every single transaction and it's up to you to, I would say, 
keep those numbers, you know, your, your user ID and your password and the encryption data that's, in, that's stored in your computer file. That's an amazing way to pro keep things private and to protect your data. Uh, but you better be careful, you know, make sure you have antivirus software on your computer and um, never get rid of your computer like that guy did. Some guy was mining bitcoins and his girlfriend got pissed off at him and he threw, I think, the hard drive in the dumpster. Uh, and then today he realizes he could have been a trillionaire if he had kept that hard drive because he still owns bitcoins. I, I can't remember how many he actually mined or the story, but that was an amazing story. And so I want to thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe. I will create other videos on this topic and please do thumbs up and as well as uh, send this video to five people that uh, through the share button, there's a share button there. And please remember to send me uh, questions to the live chat. Thank you very much for, for watching.